and we've had workflow panels in uh, Vico Office, depending on the task we're doing at the time. Um, manage models is um, you're probably going to use it in a lot of the different modules. So I've got cost planner here at the moment, uh, but it can be any, any of these different uh, modules. So I'm just going to keep with cost planner and go to manage models. And this is where if we've got different models from different sources, we join them all together in here and we um, activate the models and we create takeoff items. So we can choose how we want to create the names of the takeoff items by using some of the properties from the CAD model. So this is, uh, this is Revit, uh, so I'm just going to use family type, and then if you know if it's Archicad, you could choose layers, so you can choose how your takeoff is going to look. So then I activate that, and it creates the quantities, and here I have the result of um, my beautiful model, and my modeling skills. So when we've got that part, then we can go to the takeoff, and I can I can see the stuff here, and I can look at it, and I can investigate the different quantities that we have. So we we know it's a, a slab. We've taken that information from the CAD, uh, but then we run our own algorithms um, to come up with the quantities. We know that um, a lot of quantities which you can get from CAD systems although can be useful, are not always correct. <clears throat> and the, uh, another thing with them is that they don't always suit estimating. So if we take the column as an example, um, for estimating purposes for formwork and finishes, you probably only want the vertical surface area of the column. Some CAD platforms, if you ask for the surface area, it'll give you the top and bottom, so you'll get all six sides which isn't going to be useful when you just want to price the, uh, the formwork or the finish. So we run our own algorithms and we create what we call construction calibre quantities. And I can review these, um, so if I select the top surface area, it's highlighted, and then the edge surface area. And you'll notice that um, this turns, my icon turns to a paintbrush, so I can unassign these edges or any of the quantities so if we get a model from um, the designers which maybe they've um, modeled something using the wrong family or they've put something on the wrong layer, uh, or maybe even used a, a, a different tool to what you're expecting, we can uh, have some flexibility and make adjustments to what we've been given uh, so that we get useful data to use in the estimate. 